So in this video we're going to show you how to install and configure Citrix path through. So first off we need to make sure that we have the single sign-on feature installed on the client PC. Uh, you can use a script as I have done here and set the SS on and this will automatically install the single sign-on. And you also have to make sure that this service is running. You can also take a look in the registry and there you will see on the local machine software Citrix plugin packages and the setup you will see that we have the single sign-on component installed. So that's the uh, first step. The uh, second step is to configure the client to allow pass-through and to do that you need to import the ADM template for the ICA client and that's located under the configuration folder. So if you install the Citrix client you will find the ADM template under the configuration catalog. So you simply import that into group policy and then you select to enable the local user pass-through authentication. So by doing this with group policy you can apply this to all your clients in your domain. We also need to enable Kerberos on our Citrix servers and to do that you go into Active Directory select delegation and then trust this computer for delegation and this need to be done on all your Citrix servers. Finally we need to go to the web interface that you want to set up pass-through authentication and just select that one and then go to properties Kerberos authentication and enable Kerberos to occur and that's uh, pretty much it. So if we go over to our test machine, this is an example, it's on uh, Windows XP. I'm just gonna log in. And we're using the Think Client framework to automatically launch the web interface portal. So as you can see, we now have a uh, single sign-on to our published application. So then we're going to do the same. We head over to our Windows 7 machine and we log in again. And you will see that we have the same form of password authentication. And we will now reconnect to the session that we had on the uh, Windows XP machine. And that's it. If you enjoy this video, head over to sendoptraining.com for more free videos. Ciao.